Hey Math 31, Ms. Abreu here. I want to take a closer look at modules. So from the home page, I'm going to click on modules and we're going to look at the week one module because that's the format that the rest of your modules will be in. So every module is going to start with a bird's eye view and it's going to end with a summary. So I'm going to click on bird's eye view. Now for this video, I'm basing it off of the Tuesday, Thursday class or really the Thursday class. So if you're in the Saturday section, just note that it looks slightly different because you guys meet Saturdays and not Thursdays. And um, so this top row here will show you all of your assignments and when they're due. And then this bottom row will tell you if we're coming in that week for a face-to-face -face class. So because this is the beginning of the semester, I'm going to bring you in on a Tuesday and a Thursday. If you're on the Saturday class, it'll be over here. Make sure you bring your devices bring your laptop, your phone, let's get all of the tech worked out and get those bugs and kinks worked out. Um, and then below this, I wrote a description of the assignment and my best guess as to how long it will take you. And for the first few weeks, I'll have all of this lengthy description. And then after that, I'm just gonna leave it out because we'll, we'll get the flow of things as we get going. And if you click next on here, it'll take you to your first lecture video. So since we're not meeting face to face, um, I have recorded every example that I would typically do in a face-to-face -face class. I've recorded those videos, put them up on YouTube, and, and they're linked here. So I had mentioned before that I, in class I'll pass out the, um, the lecture packets, all right, the blank lecture packets. So if you have those, just have them out while you're listening to these videos and work along with the problems. Right, these are all blank in here, so if you ever lose your lecture packet, you could print it out. But again, I'll, I'll give them to you in class. And, and you can just follow along and do these various examples. And I'll just stop here. You can see that the calculator work is in here. We will be using the TI-83-84 calculator work. Now, when I say essential examples versus the try it on your own first, what this means is if we were in a face-to-face -face class, I would do these examples. And I've always written my lecture packet so that there are more examples in the packet than I have time to do in class. So these are the examples I would not get to in class and I wouldn't just watch Khan Academy tutorials in class either. Those are just for you if you need a little bit more practice. If you're solid on the info, then brace through them. Right? I always think learning is super individual, so find what works for you. And for those folks that don't necessarily need the audio side of things, you can also just take a look at the lecture key, right? This is the lecture packet with my answers filled in, right? It's not blank anymore, it's got my answers filled in. So again, I'm trying to cover both bases, the video, audio, whoops, the video learners and the audio learners. So hopefully I've got both of those cases covered. I also linked here extra tutorial videos. Most of them are from Khan Academy. Some are, I, I went outside Khan Academy, so I tried to take the major ideas in each section and find extra examples of those for you. Um, I also, for every calculator function we do, I found a, a specific video just for that. All of these calculator functions are covered somewhere in examples one through seven, but I just, I linked extra videos. I wanted as many resources for you as possible. And if you wind up um, getting an error message on your calculator, it happens to the best of us. I have a whole page, click on that, and then just see if your error is listed there and if you can um, work your way out of it. And if not, Google it. Uh, like Googling stuff, man, there's an answer for everything on YouTube. Once you're done watching your lecture videos, scroll down, let's hit next, and let's go to our book, at least our first book homework assignment. So you're gonna watch the lecture videos, fill in your lecture packet, and then do every other odd problem for your homework assignment, and then submit it via Canvas. You can see this submit button. Now, if you're writing your homework on your paper and you need to take a picture of it and submit it, you have to convert it to a PDF first. Um, when we're submitting uh, assignments on Canvas, if you give me JPEG images, they come out all weird on my side of things. So we've got to convert them to PDFs. And there's these apps, Scannable and Adobe Scan. And um, another one people used last semester was called Cam Scanner. A couple students really liked that one. Those will take images and convert them to PDFs, and then you could submit them on Canvas. And if that sounds overwhelming, there's a part of the orientation module that shows you how to do it. Um, I actually showed you how I did it on my iPhone using Scannable. And, and like I said, come to class with your devices. We'll practice them. We'll get over that, that initial tech barrier, and then we'll just fly through stuff. It'll be awesome. So you've got all of this. Um, if, 
if you scroll down here, here's the rubric for how the class or how assignments are graded. Um, and this is super important. Make sure you know the Canvas support line. That should always be your first, first thing you do. If you have a Canvas question, call them. A real person will pick up. I still call them about once a week. They're awesome. Um, once you're done with your homework, check your work against the homework solutions. Right, I've got the answers here. And if that's still not enough, right, you're like, oh, these written homework assignments, or excuse me, written homework solutions, it's still not clearing up my question, no problem. Either post in the discussion board, like, hey, and I'll, let me click on this. Hey, can you please help me with, I don't know, this is, don't judge my typing, please help me with um, number 25 something like that, and I'll get back to you. Or when you're submitting your assignment, you can just put it in the submission comments. Um, one of my favorite things last semester is some students on their actual homework assignment would just put like, number 25, help. And so I'll catch it that way. Um, and so yeah, just send me questions and then I make screencasts and I post them for everybody so that we can get better with our homework. So that's your general, like, hey, how do I run through that part of a module? Let me just finish this up. If we go to the week one summary, this will show you what you should have done in terms of I should have turned these things in. This is what I should have learned. And this is hopefully like just a general overview of, of what we can take away coming out of week one, week two, week 18. So anywho, that's your look at Canvas modules. I know it was a lot. Thanks for sticking with me and bring everything you can to class. I look forward to working with you. Thanks so much. Bye.